Hi everyone, it's Wendy here from Wendy Wise Beauty. Today I will be doing another one of my budget fragrance videos. These are videos where I do looking at budget fragrances or fragrances which are sold more in lower end parfumeries and I will let you know if these fragrances are worth looking at are they worth the coin even though they are not very expensive and if I am able to find any gems. Most of these fragrances are less than 15 euros, 15 dollars and I have quite a few of them today to go through. The first two fragrances I am going to talk about, I did pick these fragrances up prior to Christmas. I picked those up at Aldi. They had these fragrances in their, you can say, Aldi gift giving uh, sortiment prior to buying these fragrances. I have never tried fragrances from Aldi so I decided to pick up two of these fragrances to see if these fragrances are at all wearable. They are from the Aldi. It is their P2 Beauty line. This is how the fragrances are packaged. It is very basic very simple basic packaging I mean it is laminated the box but this is very very basic and this is the way the bottle looks for the P2 uh, fragrance series I mean it is not bad it looks uh, similar to some of the bottles that you would get at Zara. The first fragrance I am going to talk to you guys about, it is called Nachsternengreifen Eau de Parfum. Ali is so huge and especially in Europe, I would think that depending on where you are in the world, these fragrances will have a name based on the language so this one says rich for the stars and it simply says on the box it has the notes here and it says black currant pear orange blossom and tonka the name of the fragrance this one it is not in english nachsternegreifen but on the back of the box, the description of this fragrance is in English and German, which leads me to believe that these fragrances are also sold in the UK and probably in the US. Everywhere that Aldi is sold, it just says a floral composition of this fragrance will give you a feeling of pure happiness nothing will hold you back further it says let yourself be inspired by the fruity top notes of black currant and pear and drive into a world of oris and orange blossom in full bloom the lingering base notes contain enchanting secrets of sweet tonka bean and vanilla let yourself dream. So at least there is some description to the fragrance. The juice is pink. This fragrance, this one rich for the stars, Nachsternegreifen, it is a very, I would say, below average fragrance. When this fragrance is sprayed, there is a very strong aroma of um, alcohol which is not very pleasant and the fruity notes here yeah, the black currant it really dominates this fragrance when the fragrance does settle some of the other notes do come out but this fragrance for me it was a no-go also this did not last on my skin i would say more than an hour 
it goes on like a potent bomb of aromatics and then it morphs into really nothing at all. The next one, guys, it is called Grenzenlosine. This means be limitless. This is bergamot, rose, vanilla, and patchouli. It is the same kind of bottle. The juice in this one, it is yellow. It simply says take inspiration from this bold fragrance that is surprisingly lively and fresh. This is true. This one does have a fresh opening due to the bergamot. It further says it's a floral composition, embodies freedom and pure elegance. This is stretching it a bit and it says the exquisite top note of bergamot is noticed first. Yes, this is very true and it is followed by middle notes of rose and sweet jasmine. The base note contains the unmistakable scent of patchouli, vanilla and tonka bean. Nothing can stop you now. This fragrance, um, Be Limitless, Grenzenlos sign, this is a bit better than this are uh, reaching for the stars. The lasting power is also a bit better the opening it is not so abrasive this alcohol smell it is not so present this is i think it is a pretty fragrance but this is not a fragrance where i would say this is worth more than 7.99 that I paid for this fragrance. It lasts a bit longer, maybe two, three hours. It does not smell very cheap. Based on the experience I have made with these two fragrances, I will not be picking up anything else from Aldi. I think they do have quite a few fragrances in this uh, series. They normally bring this out during Easter, Christmas during the holidays and for me this was not worth the $7.99 you can say it was um, it was not money well spent the next budget fragrance on my list this is Cassandra and it is Rose Blush Cassandra you can say this is one of these staple fragrances from Jean Attest. It must be that this fragrance does uh, sell a lot or they wouldn't have so many flankers. I have smelled the original Cassandra. It was not bad, so I decided to test this rose blush. This is in the normal Jean Attest line. This box, it is very basic and um, the bottle, yeah, it is, I would say, a bit subpar. The top on this, it is uh, a white plastic. When I hold it far away, when if you were to put this on a dressing table, it would look a bit better because it has a bit of pearl essence in here, but the bottle, it does not uh, do anything for me, but all of the Cassandra bottles, they do look like this. The top note in this fragrance, it's rose, jasmine, and black currant. The middle notes, a lily of the valley pear, pink lychee, and the base note, it is sandalwood, amber, and uh, peach. Cassandra rose blush. Yeah, this would be a very nice fragrance for spring. The opening, it is much softer than the normal Cassandra. The normal Cassandra, it is really, you would say, a bit of a big uh, floral. In the top note, the black currant, it is quite pronounced. When I first got this fragrance and I tested it, 
I just thought this is a very soft and pretty floral. It is a bit on the soapy side. I do not get much sandalwood in this fragrance even after it has been on my skin for about a half hour or so. It is a nice, I would say, a nice little fragrance. It is well blended, easy to wear. It does not have a lot of projection. And this, the lasting power of this fragrance, it is about three to four hours. Jeanne Attest simply describes this fragrance. They say, like a blossom of love, Cassandra White Rose incarnates the purity and innocence of this tender, romantic woman. It is a soft fragrance. This fragrance, it is costing anywhere from 6 to 10 euros online. I think this is more than worth the price. You will get a value out of this fragrance. Is it a phenomenal fragrance? No, it is a pretty soft fragrance. It is not expensive. For the coin, honestly, you can't go wrong with this. This is much better than this Aldi fragrances. It is not the best I have tried from Jean Attes in this price range, but at the same time, it is not bad. The next fragrance that I have, it is called Pavlova. This version of Pavlova, it has been in the Jean Attest line since 2021. This is what the fragrance bottle looks like. I also featured this in my um, best fragrances for Valentine's. This fragrance, it is quite popular. It is a goma fragrance. The description of the fragrance, it says it is a genuine invitation to pleasure. The top note of this fragrance, it is strawberry and candy apple. The heart note, it is rose centifolia. And the base note, it is vanilla, whipped cream, and white musk. I do like this fragrance very much. It is one of these fragrances out there which really has a strawberry cream accord. It is a goma fragrance, but it is not too foody. You will not smell like strawberry shortcake, and it is also not overtly young. This is really a beautiful fragrance, and it is quite popular. This fragrance, you will find it online anywhere between 15 euros to about 30 euros. This one, it is from the Tea Time à Paris line from Jean Attes, and it is one of their, I would say it is a bit more expensive than their normal Jean Attes line. I do like this fragrance very much. I think it is well worth the price. I think this uh, strawberry fragrance, it is much better than a lot of the fragrances that you would find in the department store. The packaging of this fragrance, it is also quite nice. You do have the notes and the description. It says, it is a genuine invitation to pleasure. This Eau de Parfum combines the tasty notes of red berries with the sweet fragrance of meringue topped vanilla. The fragrance closes with cream and an ethereal note of whipped cream like a gentle caress of the skin. 
the description of this fragrance it is true to form this is a lovely yummy fragrance and this can be used by people of all ages it's a very easy fragrance to wear it is very soft and simply yummy. Pavlova, it is a dessert and there are many different variations of Pavlova. This one, it is one of my favorite renditions of this fragrance type. The next fragrance, it is also from Jean Attes and it is again from the Ballat à Paris series and it is called Promenade à Montmartre. This fragrance should remind us, I assume, of the Montmartre uh, section of Paris. I do love this area of Paris. It is very artsy-fartsy, a lot of very small, nice restaurants. I have not been there in a while. I do plan this summer to go to Paris with my sister so I definitely will be stopping by Montmartre. This is the same bottle as Soiree Rooftop which is another fragrance that I do love from this series and the bottle, the packaging is not bad, the juice is yellow to match the label and this one it does have a much better spray than Cassandra. The spray on Cassandra, if I can show this to you, the spray was a bit, it was just a typical uh, spray. It is not the best, but this fragrance, yeah, it's costing around five euros to start with. So the packaging, is a bit cheaper but this is a bit more robust and it is a gold cap just sprayed a little bit of this um on my tissue here it has a top note of bergamot mandarin and orange pulp the fragrance it does have a very fresh opening reason why i thought this fragrance would be very nice for wearing in the spring but when i smell this this you can wear starting in spring all the way through i would say summer and even early fall and the heart notes it is blooming rose jasmine petal and orange blossom the orange blossom it is a soft note in this fragrance but it is very present it is a very nice take on the orange orange blossom note the rose it is not too prominent it does behave more like a citrus fragrance. The base of this fragrance, it is patchouli, white musk and oak musk. From all of the fragrances I have tried in this batch, this was my favorite. I received a while back a sample of uh, this fragrance here it is from Paris Monte Carlo. I don't know if you say Paris or Paris, yeah? But um, it is called Arancia di Sicilia. This is also a citrus, very soft citrus fragrance with floral notes. I was really considering thinking of getting this fragrance. This fragrance, it is about, I think, list price, anywhere between, I believe, 130 and 160 euros. I am still very crazy about this fragrance, but when I do try this one, I get the same vibes from this fragrance 
And I must say, the fragrance from Jean Attes, Promenade à Montmartre, this one has a bit more lasting power. Promenade à Montmartre, yeah, this is costing about average 15 euros and 99 cents. Um, <laughs> I am really on a crossroads about this one because this fragrance, when I tried it, it really reminded me of a body spray that I have from um, La Prairie. And this body spray, I have been using it for many years as perfume because it is quite strong and it is the same type of citrus fragrance. It has citrus with a bit of floral notes. When I tried this, I said, oh, I must have this. However, this one came and I'm like, do I really need both fragrances? I mean, this has really a hefty price tag. I already have this fragrance and this one has the same vibes and it is a pretty awesome fragrance. This one, I would say it is worth a lot more than your 15 to 30 euro price range, which is the range in which you normally find this Ballade à Paris line from Jeanne Attes. From all the fragrances, this is the best one. This one, guys, this was one of the gems. If you are interested in any of these fragrances, especially if you are in Europe, do surf online because Jean Attes, it is sold at a lot of the online perfumeries in Europe. I have had friends, uh, perfume friends in the US writing me that they do have quite a few Jean Attes fragrances, so I assume they are also sold online in the US and definitely in Asia. Thanks guys for watching. Please leave me a few comments and don't forget to give me a thumbs up and do subscribe. I would love to have you as a friend and a subscriber on this channel. Tschüss!